Step into a world where massive birds couldn't fly, saber-toothed predators ruled the landscape, and a marsupial tiger prowled the forests. These extinct creatures, from the iconic dodo to the enigmatic Tasmanian tiger, hold tales of mystery, adaptation, and the relentless march of time. Join us as we unravel the stories of these long-lost inhabitants of our planet, offering a glimpse into a past that once roared, soared, and wandered. Firstly, we will talk about quagga. The quagga was a unique and now extinct subspecies of the plain zebra that once inhabited the grasslands of South Africa. What set the quagga apart from other zebras was its distinctive appearance. Unlike the bold black and white stripes of the common zebra, the quagga had stripes only on its front portion, with its rear resembling that of a horse. Native to the southern parts of Africa, the quagga played a role in the ecosystem as a grazer, feeding on grasses and other vegetation. The term quagga is derived from the Tuakwai people's word for zebra, likely imitating the sound of the animal's call. The unfortunate fate of the quagga can be attributed to human activities. In the 19th century, European settlers and colonial authorities in South Africa targeted quaggas for their hides and meat. Their pelts were used for clothing and as coverings for equipment, while their meat was consumed. This widespread hunting, along with habitat loss due to human expansion, led to a sharp decline in quagga populations. By the late 1800s, the quagga had been hunted to extinction. The last known wild quagga was seen in 1870, and the last captive quagga, a mare named Lady, died at an Amsterdam Zoo in 1883. The loss of the quagga represents one of the earliest instances of human-induced extinction documented in modern times. Moving forward, we have a saber-toothed cat. The saber-toothed cat, scientifically known as Smilobin, was a fascinating and formidable carnivorous predator that lived during the Pleistocene Epoch. Recognizable for its most distinctive feature, its long and serrated canine teeth, the saber-toothed cat has captured the imagination of scientists and the general public alike. These ancient cats belonged to a group called Macherodonts, and they existed in various species across different parts of the world. While they shared similarities with modern big cats, such as lions and tigers, their elongated canine teeth set them apart as specialized predators. These teeth, which could be up to a foot long, were well suited for delivering powerful and precise bites to their prey. Saber-toothed cats were likely ambush predators, relying on their strong jaws and sharp teeth to take down large herbivores. However, their anatomy suggests that they may not have been able to bite through bone like modern big cats can. Instead, they likely targeted soft tissues and vital organs for efficient kills. The reason for their extinction is still debated among scientists. It's believed that a combination of factors contributed to their decline. Changes in climate during the late Pleistocene could have led to shifts in vegetation and available prey species, affecting the cat's food sources. Additionally, competition with other predators and possibly human hunting could have placed further pressure on their populations. Lastly, we will talk about woolly mammoth. The woolly mammoth was a prehistoric mammal that roamed the earth during the last ice age. This remarkable creature was uniquely adapted to the cold environments of the Pleistocene epoch. With its long, shaggy coat of fur and a hump of fat on its back for insulation, the woolly mammoth was well-equipped to survive in frigid climates. However, as the Earth's climate began to shift and warm at the end of the Ice Age, the mammoth faced a combination of challenges that ultimately contributed to its extinction. Changing temperatures led to the retreat of ice sheets and the transformation of vast grasslands into forests and tundra. This shift in habitat meant that the mammoth's primary food sources, such as grasses and shrubs, became less abundant. Another significant factor in the woolly mammoth's decline was human activity. Early human populations, armed with advanced hunting techniques, began to hunt mammoths for their meat, hides, and bones. The combination of a changing environment and human predation put immense pressure on mammoth populations. Over time, these pressures led to a decline in mammoth numbers and a reduced ability to adapt to the changing conditions. As we conclude this journey through the annals of history, remember that the echoes of these extinct creatures remind us of the fragility of life and the importance of preserving the wonders that still grace our world. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.